Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back. So, I'm going to show you guys the steps to get your Katana Mark II online with OS X Katana on the Mac. So, you do have to go to the specific Mark II downloads page, okay? Anyway, you're going to find you are going to need... The Boss Tone Studio for the Katana Mark II version 1.0.0 for Mac OS. Download that one. Okay. Um, what else are you going to need? Everything. Um, you're going to need the Katana driver version 1.0.2 for Mac OS 10.1.5. Okay. That's going to have an installer. You will need to install that as well. Now, before you install these, okay, you must take the top piece. This is called the Mark II System Program. This is your firmware update. Yes, Boss already put a firmware update on this thing. And um, away we go. So, they have a how to tell the version system on here. Now, I bought my Katana Mark II, brand spanking new. It just came into Long and McQuaid. Okay, these things have not been on the market for very long, and they've already got a system program version update. So, anyways, we need this, apparently. Now, they do tell you if you don't need it, blah, blah, blah. Now, they've probably done the cover of their butt statement on this because probably in about six months, there will be more Katanas going into stores that will already have this. Okay? But right now, if you are a fresh, brand new user of the first run of these machines, likelihood is 99.99% .99 chance you're going to need to do this. Okay? So check it first and follow the instructions exactly what it says and if it turns out that you have whatever lights they say then you have to do this update okay now they got an update version history in here as well okay and they tell you about bug fixes of course we all know this garbage right all right so we're going to agree to their stuff and we're going to download the file which is extremely small. It's pathetically small. It's called Katana2 underscore Sys underscore V101. Save it to your desktop. It's a zip archive. So, once you've got that under control, leave this page open because you're going to need it for the procedure install update. Alright, so just minimize that window. Go to your desktop, you will see the zip file. Double click it. The Mac will automatically unpack it to the folder. Now, once you have this folder, open the folder. You're going to see these two files. Okay? If you just install this folder into the drive of the Katana, it's not going to do anything. Okay? So we're going to go to Procedure for Update. You must not rename the extracted files. Never turn off the Katana Mark II's power while the update is in progress. Otherwise, the system program for the Katana itself may be destroyed. In other words, you'll brick your amp. Okay? Anyways, um, please install the extracted system program files according to the following procedure. Adjust the master knob on your amp to minimum. In other words, off. Okay, that's your master. That's the one beside your power soaker switch. So we've done that. Now, do not connect the katana to the computer yet. <clears throat> Alright. Not connected yet. Now, turn the power switch on while holding both channel 1 and panel. Okay, so we're going to go to the amp. 
hold down panel, hold down channel 1, turn on the amp, let go of the buttons. You'll see flashing red lights. Okay. Once you've done this, then plug your Katana's USB cable in. And we're in. Now we're going to minimize the button. And we'll see the Katana drive icon. And we open that up. Now you'll see that there's nothing in here. If you did this incorrectly, you may see stuff in here, which is bad. You're not supposed to see anything in here. Then you take this folder, you take these contents and you drag and you drop them into the katana. Okay, let them copy across. Once that's done, okay, we go and we refer back to the instructions. Now, connect the computer, USB cable, the indicators would be um, blah blah blah, appear on computer screen, open the boss katana icon, we did that. It's called a removable disk, copy, drag and drop the files. The files that I showed you, only those. Okay, so you have to open that file and copy those two files in. Do not copy the Katana Sys 101 folder, okay? Now, once you've done this correctly, you disconnect the Katana. And all that is is a simple drag and dump. That's it, okay? Once that's done, Disconnect the USB cable, the panel, the panel, yeah, but we'll get to that in a second. Okay. So we've disconnected the cable. That's done. Now, the panel buttons flash. Press panel button to start the update process. While the update is in progress, the effects indicators light up. When the update has finished, they will slowly flash simultaneously. And they will do this forever and ever and ever. But the idea is once they start flashing, and of course they will change color, um, then you can just shut the amp off, as it tells you, and then turn your amp back on. Okay, now, you also have that driver to install, um, or sorry, let's go back here. Um, the Tone Studio has to be installed, and then the driver. So you have to do the driver install. Now, it doesn't matter if you do the driver first or the Tone Studio first. It doesn't make a difference, but you have to do that driver first, one way or another, uh, because it's going to make you reboot your Mac. Okay, once it's rebooted, then go ahead and put the Tone Studio in or do the Tone Studio first and then do the driver. Either way, you're rebooting. So these two does not matter which order, but this must be done at the very top first. Otherwise, yeah, it's going to be going backwards. It'll still work. You know, I mean, I had my driver in, I had the software in, you know, and nothing, you know, and then I downloaded this and I was fine. Um, but anyways, so in, in a sense, it doesn't really matter which order, but in order to get Tone Studio to run with your Katana, that update has to be done. So if you've done the driver and you've done the Tone Studio and your amp does not fire up, okay, for the, through the program, then you have to go and do this system program, which is another way to tell without going through all that process of, do this and this and this to find out if you need it or not. Okay. Now, providing you did everything correctly, okay, like I said, you do not copy this folder, only the contents. The Mac will automatically unzip the zipped folder that you downloaded from the website, just like so. Boom. Okay. And that gets you your system file. These are the only two files that go in. You must only 
do this this way to the katana, okay? Because when you reboot, um, like you saw me reboot up my katana uh, drive icon, you'll notice there's nothing in that folder once that update's been done. Okay, now, should we have done everything correctly, we now go back and we plug the USB cable back into the katana. We fire up the katana. We fire up Boss Tone Studio for the Mark II. The Mark II and the Mark I Tone Studios are different, okay? <coughs> so you have to, if you had a Mark I before like I did, um, you know, you might want to delete that software if you no longer have a Mark I. If you do, well then you got to keep it in order to keep using your Mark I. So now you got to run two Tone Studio apps to run a Mark I and a Mark II. If you did everything correctly, everything should fire up. Now the first time this fired up for me, um, I actually had to pick my Katana. It was either Katana, my Focusrite USB box, or the DAW. You only want the straight Katana only. All right? So anyways, and then anytime after that when you fire it up, it automatically knows to just fire the program. So then of course you got all four channels, or all eight actually okay you'll have all this stuff okay and so on all right so that means you did your job right your amp is now ready to be programmed jake's your uncle and that is how you get your katana updated with the latest firmware Get your stuff installed. Like I said, the Mac automatically decompresses these zip files. Okay, so there's nothing special for software to unpack a zipped file on a Mac. Uh, whether you're running an older version of OS X or whether you're running the new Catalina. And uh, just to confirm, I am running Mac OS X Catalina. All right. Now, Boss also has the GT1000 pedal processor board 1015 stuff ready to go as well. There is a procedure involved in that too, okay, which you must follow their instructions as per what they say, all right? So, bricking your amp, by the way, is not covered by the Boss warranty, so you don't want to brick it. Okay, so that's off. Now, if you did not decompress that zipped file, or you did decompress it, but you put the folder in there, they tell you you could have problems. If you're lucky enough not to have any problems, go through all the original steps again to get your Katana drive icon back up, and you should actually see that folder inside your drive icon. Uh, because it can't do anything with it when it's in a folder format. It can't go inside the folder itself and do things. So there's a pretty good chance that you'll be all right in that case. But if you do the update properly, um, as I showed you on this video, when you go to rehook your katana up as a drive icon again, you'll notice there is nothing inside the katana um, drive icon. Okay. So that means it did its job, it updated its firmware, and of course, like any good little program, it erases its existence from your drive so that you don't get to see it, okay? Which I think is a really good way to do things because it saves you from going, what version am I running? It also would save conflicts, right? So it's kind of cool that Boss does things the way they do. But anyways, that's all for you guys. Hopefully this helps you to update your Katana's to Mac OS Catalina, get all your software running the way it should be, and uh, enjoy your programming, fun, jamming, gigging, whatever you're doing, blasting out the neighborhood, peeling the drywall off the studs. Speaking of which, I gotta go do that sometime soon too. I got to crank this sucker. Anyways, thanks again guys. Catch you on the next one.